Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today I'll be taking a look at the new Jadoon Captain figure from the new Doctor Who Series 11 slash 12 figure rave. So first taking a look at the box we get a nice view of the figure. Um, side we have an image of the TARDIS door that's been used in other figures in this rave and um, on the recent B&M sets. Um, at the back, we have um, images from other figures in the rave, including a uh, yet-to-be-released resolution variant of the Doctor. No idea when that's coming out, but yeah. And another version of the Sonic Screwdriver, because the one they released first was an absolute disgrace. Um, other side, we get another view of the Jadoon. And then back to the front with... The uh, description of pistol reader, translator, accessories, and Jadoon Captain action figure, and the character options logo. That's about it for the box. Let's take a look at the figure itself. The figure is now out of its box, and I have to say, I am really impressed. Um, compared to the original uh, Jadoon Captain heads, I think this is a massive improvement. Taking a look at the original one, released back in 2007, I think the detailing on this new one is a lot more striking. And um, if we bring in the uh, 2008 re-release, um, it's just the head, but I, I broke it, that's not the point. Um, I definitely think that this new one is a massive improvement on the head sculpt. Um, detailing of a uh, sort of... On the head um, looks a whole lot better. Detailing of the blind eye and the mohawk looks really good. Textures on that. Um, and with the actual body, it looks um, a lot more kind of... Uh, sort of... It seems a bit more metallic than uh, the original one. The, um, the original one's... A lot more sort of plasticky and cheap, um, but this one feels a lot more new and uh, better in quality. Um, articulation, head can't move because it's fixed. Um, arms move, um, bend at home, oh, broke the hand, uh, bend um, at the elbow and 360 at the wrists. But it seems my arm's quite loose. Um, kick at the knees and bend. And can also slightly kick out, but not much. And it is hindered by the skirt section. Overall, um, articulation rise and uh, detailing. It looks really good. I really like this figure. Um, it, it's a definite improvement from its original counterparts. When this figure was first announced, um, people were complaining that the uh, gun didn't look like how it did in the actual episode, but personally, I don't really care. I think what they've done with the actual figure anyway is amazing. Um, it fits quite well into the hand, um, like so. can point it so that's quite nice, and you can also uh, put it in its holster, like so. And also, uh, the accessories at the belt can come off. I'm not sure um, which ones, like the, uh, you know, translator or whatever. Uh, but, yeah, um, can be held quite nicely. Um if my hand uh, on this didn't through, but yeah, you can hold it like so, and you can uh, put it into the chest unit, although it uh, seems like the figure doesn't want to be attached to its right hand. Um, it's slightly annoying, um, but oh well, so yeah, that's nice. It is slightly a struggle to push it back into its belt uh 
but it can be done. You know, some people might, might not want to risk taking it off. People didn't know if it could actually come off um, at first, because um, it didn't look like it could. Um, but yeah, you can also fit it into this chest unit, although it probably could do it a whole lot better if my one didn't want its hand to keep on breaking off. Um, but yeah, um, other than the hands, I think oh, it's a nice figure, uh, to be honest. Um, yeah, uh, so I think I just got a bit unlucky. Oh. Um, with the, uh, hands and fitting the accessories in. But, if I'm careful, I should be able to get it in alright. Uh, we just have to see. Um, but, yeah. Overall, I'm quite impressed with this figure. Um, like I said, definite improvement from the original 2007 and eight releases um i think the new head sculpt works really well i wonder if they do a variant with um the broken horn too uh if i can fit it in um but yeah i think because yaz and ryan are supposed to come out in a b&m set we could either get that resolution variant or um a Jadoon Trooper or a damaged uh, Jadoon Horn Captain. Um, but yeah, I think um, that's about it for this video. Um, I think this is a great figure and I highly recommend it. And if you do get it, I hope your hands on it actually are not quite as loose as mine. Um, so yeah, with that being said, Thank you very much for watching this view, and I hope to see you in my next one, which will be the Graham O'Brien review. So with that being said, thank you very much for watching, and goodbye.